We have some big chapter 4 news, new Nightmare Critters, and some huge drama in today's video. So stick around till the end to see the new Nightmare Critters. You don't want to miss it. So first off, basically, a bunch of content creators have been receiving some weird packages that mention a new company called Warren Back Construction. What could this mean? Well, in chapter 2, on one of the papers, it mentioned this company. In a note written by Eddie M. N. Ritterman, it reads, This is Eddie responding once again on the behalf of the Poitumco toy factory. Yes, it must be in complete secrecy. This project should only be known about by those with the authority at Warrenback and those with the authority here at Playtime. As promised, you will be compensated very well for the secrecy, upwards of 100000 keeping in mind that this is all ballpark figure. We're willing to provide the proper equipment needed for excavation. However, the more independently you are able to work, the more com compensation I can offer. We'd still like to see the lab completed in 12 months' time, but but what's most important is that it's done right. Let me know if these terms work for you. I'm happy to negotiate until we find something that both parties can be happy with. Take care, Eddie M. N. Ritterman. What does this mean? Well, so far, Eddie is confirming that no one else can know about the project they're working on, and it must be done correctly. So far, I don't know what any of this means. But anyways, what does the paper that Knives got reads? Well, first we can see a construction worker holding some type of tool, which is probably a wrench or a crowbar, maybe even a shovel. Text by the worker reads, Don't worry, we like the dirt. Which implies that maybe the Warrenback construction helped with digging out all of the caves and building the playcare we all know and love. But what secrets and lore implications does this mighty glossy paper hold? Well, when putting a black light over it, Knives explains that he saw a highlighted word saying, Central. So, so far I don't have any thoughts or theories for this one. So it will have to be left unsolved for now. Up next, more of the Nightmare Critters have been revealed, and we will be going over all of them. The first one is Icky Licky. His appearance is a yellow and black frog with a toxic pendant, which reflects from his description, which reads, Icky's the type of kid to fall behind in a relay race and immediately pin it on a sore knee. Even when that's not the case, he's the very definition of a poor sport. Even though he's naturally talented, he's constantly challenging everyone on absolutely everything, and usually with the outcome he expects. Don't worry, he has an excuse ready. Scent coffee. Now, at first, I thought this was some type of reptile, like a lizard, but for some reason, he's actually a frog, surprisingly. Icky Licky is described as a poor sport, always wanting to win at everything, which means in Chapter 4, he's probably going to be really hard for taking into consideration that he's always a sweat, like the boxy booze in Project Playtime. He also always has an excuse for everything at any time. His scent is coffee, which is described as lightly caramelized and almost nutty. Described as being nutty is also described as being almost offensive, which partly captures Icky Licky, but not quite enough. It also describes as being foolish, which also partly captures him. The next nightmare critter we have is Raby Baby, whose appearance is a pink bat. Her pendant looks like a whoopee cushion, but I can't put my finger on it. Her description reads, Raby Baby couldn't keep a secret if her life depended on it. If there's one thing in the world she loves, it's gossiping, and she's very practiced at it. She has no concept of privacy, or boundaries. And if she's in the room, you can bet she's eavesdropping on someone. Don't worry, if she ever runs out of juicy secrets to talk about, she'll just make one up. Raby Baby is described as a gossiper or a drama queen, like one of those high school popular girls with long nails and blowing bubblegum. And speaking about bubblegum, Raby Baby's scent is described as bubblegum. Bubblegum scent really depends on the flavor of bubblegum you're sniffing up into your nostrils, but most of the time it's described as a sweet, fruity, and slightly spicy scent, which means she can be sweet and fruity, but spicy, mostly gossiping behind people's backs. It also says that if she ever runs out of juicy secrets to talk about, she'll simply make one up, which is pretty s Oh my god. She'll simply make some out in a jiffy, which is some pr spr but She'll simply make some- out in a jib what she'll simply make some out in a jiffy which is some pretty spicy drama if you ask me finally damn it, i always get it wrong the last smiling critter we have is an alligator whose name is alistair gator alistair gator's appearance is a green alligator with a pendant of a bone cross i don't know what this could mean since his description reads him as lazy but yeah i couldn't find a transition into reading the description so let's just read the description alistair's an all-around lazy guy He's chill, sure, but if he could, he'd spend all day in the water doing pretty much nothing. He isn't a fan of the whole put in effort and see that effort rewarded bit. He's much more of a believer in the philosophy, good things have to come to me, eventually. I just need to wait around for it. He's still waiting. But yeah, 
There is not much to discuss about this character except that he likes to sit around all day and let things come to him. Now for the last piece of news, we have some spicy drama. Ooh, Raby Baby will love this. Or will she? Because believe it or not, it's about her and her friends. Basically, people online are not enjoying the smiling critters. Basically skating skating? I'm gonna go skating around in a skate park. Hey, is someone at the door? Hey, you can't be here. They are basically stating that they want a new toy line, and not some new Smiling Critters. Which is pretty funny because just a couple days ago we were dying for more Smiling Critters. But not being a new toy line isn't the main problem. The main problem, and subjection, is that Mob Entertainment is being lazy with the new Nightmare Critters. Which I think is pretty wrong even though I just made a video about how I'm concerned for Chapter 4. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.